The Peterson Principle is the episode of the fourth season of Cheers. This is, of course, directed by the wonderful James Burroughs. And this is mostly a Norm-centric episode. And Norm being my joint favourite character, I rather enjoyed that a lot. And there will be spoilers from now as I discuss various things that happen in the episode. And at the beginning, we actually get this adorable character called Vito, played by Adam Carl. And he comes into Cheers to see Carla because he wants to take her daughter to the cinema or to the theatre. And they're going to see 101 Dalmatians, which is absolutely precious. And it was just a very sweet way to start things off. I say sweet. Carla took his drink for DNA purposes afterwards, but for the viewer, very sweet. And then we get in with the subplot. We have a, a small part of the narrative that I kind of think in this episode I would have liked to have seen the aftermath, but at the same time I don't think we necessarily had time for it. So I will discuss the Fraser part of this episode first, and I will just wrap that up completely, and then I'll go through the rest chronologically. And it actually starts off with a bit of a backdated continuity error because Fraser comes into Cheers with a taxidermied owl, which he says was actually his father's pet called Plato. Now, I don't know if Martin would have a bird, but if he did, I didn't think he would ever call it Plato. And I don't know how Fraser would end up with that bird in Boston. Obviously, this is not the fault of the episode. We know that in Frasier, they actually address the inconsistencies surrounding Frasier's descriptions of his father. So I won't actually go on about it too much, but it just made me smile. I rather enjoyed that. It's not an issue. It's something that I actually liked. Had I watched Cheers before Frasier, that would have meant nothing to me. But having seen Frasier, of course, uh, I rather enjoyed that. Fraser then shows everybody, and by everybody, I mean a lot of people, gather to watch his slides that he took when he went to Europe with Diane. And it's quite sweet, actually, because when he's supposed to be taking photos of landmarks, he's mostly just taking photos of Diane, which really shows just how much he loved her. And he had some remarks to make, which shows that he's not, he's not fully over... Well, not necessarily fully over Diane, but certainly not over what she did to him. And then Sam decides a little later on in the episode to take Fraser out. They're going to meet women and they get ready and off they go. And I kind of wish we'd seen a bit more of that. I would have liked to have seen the aftermath in the, in this episode of, I, I don't know, them coming back and... Fraser realising that that's not his lifestyle. I don't know. They could have done something with it. It just felt incomplete. But at the same time, there wasn't really the time in the episode for that. So I understand why that didn't happen. But it did feel quite incomplete to me. But the rest of the episode is really sweet. Norm is up for promotion. And his colleague, Jeff, played by Chip Zane, comes to see him down at Cheers. Of course, he knew he was going to be at Cheers because it's Norm. And they have a little conversation. And Jeff actually reveals that Norm's competition for this promotion is sleeping with the boss's wife. And when Jeff leaves, Norm confides in the gang that he's he's going to tell the boss because then his competition will be eliminated and he'll get the promotion. But the others, mostly Diane, try and convince him, they try and convince him that that's not the right thing to do. Cliff thinks he should go for it, but Diane in particular feels very strongly that that's not how Norm should get the job. If he's going to get the job, he should get it on merit and not because he eliminated the competition. And Norm's character in this episode is amazing in so many different ways. As we see this in the final, maybe the final third of the episode, we see Norm in... Different situations, which I'll talk about in a moment, of course, with a whole range of different emotions. And Diane got emotional at one point. I got emotional. I absolutely love him. And Norm is kind of concerned about what he's going to do. He doesn't really know, but he doesn't have long to decide because Mr. Reinhardt, his boss, played by Daniel Davis, <laughs> comes in <laughs> comes into cheers and, and Norm pretends that he was just using the bathroom and uh, his boss said no we know you're in here this is where we send your checks obviously joking but I, I found that to be very amusing and unfortunately 
Reinhardt is there to tell Norm he didn't get the job, but it was very close and that there wasn't, in his words, a black mark against either one. And of course, the cogs are whirring in Norm's brain. He is thinking, if I just tell him that the competition is sleeping with his wife, of course, I'll get the promotion. And... (laughs) <laughs> Norm goes to talk to Woody and Diane at the bar and he does so under the guise uh, of getting a cheese doodle and Diane is saying no to him and when he goes back to Mr. Reinhardt Mr. Reinhardt says to him and I quote who are those people Peterson and why doesn't one of them want you to have a cheese doodle there are some sentences that one would never expect to hear and that's one of them and I absolutely loved it and just the look of seriousness on Reinhardt's face it, it was it was fabulous and <laughs> I've just looked down at my notes and noticed something else funny that happens in a moment but I'll get to that in a second it's a, it's a wonderful balance this episode of comedy laugh out loud comedy and real emotion. And this is not unique to this episode. This happens a lot in Cheers. In particular, in this episode, I think they got the balance just spot on. And it turns out that the reason Norm didn't get the job is quite unfairly because his wife wasn't good enough. They decided his wife wasn't the kind of woman to fit in with the other wives, which is ludicrous. And Norm says, quite heated and passionately, Vera is a wonderful woman. And this is really the first time, I think, if not one of the first times, where Norm has said something really positive about Vera. And it's not that it's unusual or unexpected, because it's clear that he loves her, but he usually makes fun of her. But When somebody else says something nasty about his wife, no way, he is not standing for that. And that's one of the several great things we see about Norm in this episode. The other great thing, of course, is that he didn't tell Reinhardt about his wife's affair. Now, one may argue that he had a responsibility to do that because it's not fair that his boss is being cheated on. But certainly, I would say it shouldn't come from Norm. That's not Norm's job to give that information. And the fact that he wasn't willing to stoop that low and throw his competition under the bus, I think was very admirable of Norm. And ultimately, Norm resigns. He quits. A company that doesn't want Vera is not a company Norm wants to work for. And that's that's pretty wonderful. And then he... (laughs) This is the bit I was laughing at. He goes back to the bar once Reinhardt leaves. And he tells the gang that Vera didn't pass muster at the dinner she had with the other wives. And Woody replies, maybe she couldn't reach it. (laughs) My favourite bit about this is not just the fact that Woody thought Norm was talking about mustard, with a D, but the fact that Diane pushed Woody almost out of scene, out of shot, to explain it to him. (laughs) <laughs> and then we hear Woody kind of laughing faintly in the background as he gets gets what Norm was actually getting at, which I thought was rather beautiful. And then we have uh, another brilliant display from Norm. And I, I got choked up. And I think the placement of Diane in this, in this moment in particular was beautiful because Norm phones up Vera and he doesn't tell her the truth. He just says he wasn't a right fit for the role. And he calls her pet names and he he says he's the luckiest man alive. And it, it's just, it's so beautiful. And he basically, for about a minute, it might be less than a minute, but roughly that long, he he opens his heart and pours his heart out to Vera and he's vulnerable and sweet and a different side of Norm. And I love it. And Diane behind him, her emotional response just heightened the emotion and I I was welling up and it's just so sweet and so lovely. So we have so many examples of Norm's brilliant character in this episode. This is basically the anti-Norm in many ways because we have Norm who is passionate about his job. We don't usually see that. We have Norm who is defending his wife. We don't normally see that. We have Norm who is being vulnerable in front of the gang at Cheers. We don't normally see that. And I think this is the 
the real norm, the true norm, the norm who isn't just putting up a, a wall in front of him and is just focused on getting through the day and drinking his beer and blocking out everything. This is the real norm, and I think it's beautiful. And I love norm tremendously. And this is a, a fine example of why. And it's a brilliant episode. When he called himself a loser, my heart was breaking. It's a gorgeous episode, though, and so well done and absolutely fantastic. The Peterson Principle is very, very funny, but it's also very moving and very emotional and an episode that I will always absolutely adore. <laughs>